good day. My name is Men, Reverend Mansfield Alexander. I'm one of the associate ministers here at the Pleasure Baptist Church of Dallas, where my pastor is Reverend Alfredo Antonio Talk. The Sunday School lesson for next Sunday, uh, for May 22nd, uh, subject is spiritual weapons. And the lesson is talking about spiritual warfare. Um, when I was a little boy in this church, I used to sing that song, We Are Onward Christian Soldiers, Marching As To War. But little did I know that after 40, 50 years that I would really be in a war for my very existence. It's called a spiritual war. And next Sunday, Sunday School lesson is about spiritual warfare from 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verses 1 through 12. Uh, it, in, in this, Paul is saying to the Corinthians that the greatest enemy we have, we, we have three, the, the world, the devil, and the flesh. But the greatest enemy we have is our flesh. And we're fighting a spiritual war. And the, the battlefield is the mind. Satan plays with our mind, charges our mind, uh, to do things that we shouldn't do. And, 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 the, and the battle is in the mind. Spiritual warfare, uh, verse, uh, chapter 10, verses three, four, and five. Uh, uh, let me just use those to summarize our lesson for next Sunday. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. In other words, though, though we're physical, we're not fighting a physical war. We're fighting a spiritual war. For the weapons of our warfare, Paul says, are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down a stronghold. Now you know what a stronghold is. A stronghold is something that holds strong on your life. Something evil that you're trying to get rid of, that you're fighting to be in the, in the back part of your life. Uh, but here, Paul says that we are fighting the, the, in the mind. The mind is, is where the devil fights his war. And so he says, he says here in, in verse, verse, nine, verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Very powerful verse, casting down imaginations. Imaginations are those, are those thoughts that we have uh, and, and, and brothers and sisters, let me uh, warn you that thoughts are very important. Thoughts, uh, we have to watch our thoughts because our thoughts turn to words and our words turn to actions and our actions turn to habits and our habits turn to character and our character turn to destiny. So it's very important what we think and Paul says that we can cast down imaginations and bring every thought that we have into the obedience of Christ. And, and, and that's what our Sunday School lesson is all about. The spiritual warfare that we have against, that we're fighting against the devil, we're fighting against Satan in this warfare. This is a spiritual warfare. Uh, Paul wrote to the church at Ephesus and told them uh, in, in the sixth chapter, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Our fight is not against our brothers and sisters. Our fight is not even against uh, the other races. Our fight is with the devil, and we're fighting a battle. But the good news is that the battle has already been won. We're fighting wars now. We're not fighting the battle, we're fighting wars. The battle for us has already been won. We invite you to come to Sunday School with us next Sunday. Uh, you are very welcome here at the Pleasant Grove Missionary Baptist Church of Dallas. Please come and be a part of our uh, Sunday School. We start each morning, each Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. And we would love for you to be here. God bless you and we'll see you next time.